A tornado flew around my room before you came. Excuse the mess it made. It usually doesn't rain in Southern California, much like Arizona. My eyes don't shed tears, but boy, they pour. When I'm thinking about you, you know, no, no. I've been thinking about you. Hey loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Leo Royale and as you guys can see by the title of today's vlog, today's vlog is going to be very informational. I'm sitting on my little bean bag here. I got this bean bag from Target. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, I also got my water. So I'm ready. If you guys have a snack, go get your snack, go get a lunch, sit down, watch this video. It's kind of like a little mini podcast because I have a list of advice topics that I just want to share with you guys. So as you guys can see by the title, it is a things I wish I knew before the age of 19. So if you guys don't know, I just graduated 2023 and today is the last day of school of my freshman year of cosmetology school slash college so it's really moving fast which is leading into the first topic for topic number one time stops for no one time really does stop for no one so enjoy your life like if you're one of those people that always procrastinate which means you always are like no like i need to do this but i'm just gonna do it tomorrow you know i'll start this tomorrow i'm gonna start my diet tomorrow baby we gonna do that gym next week Stop procrastinating, babe. Like, you know dang well you're not going to start that diet tomorrow. You know dang well you're not going to start saving money tomorrow. Like, please. Unless you really, really are determined to do that, you wouldn't even say that. Like, I just feel like live your life the way you want to live your life. Because it's short. Like, time literally stops for no one. The next thing you know, you're going to be old. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I'm, I it's kind of hard to explain but i feel like when i turned 16 i kind of kept that mindset of a 16 year old all the way until like literally 18 and then i had to like realize like wait i'm 18 like my last year being a teenager is literally next year while i'm 19 which is now this is my last year being a teenager i'm 19 and it's just crazy to think like i'm still thinking i still feel like i'm low-key like 18 or 17 it's like crazy to me and it's like i have to realize i'm not 16 no more i'm not a real teenager no more like i'm starting to become an adult i am gonna have to pay bills i'm gonna have to pay rent i'm gonna have to make sure my taxes are straight i'm gonna have to have tons of responsibility that i have to keep up with because that is on me at the end of the day so it's just like crazy to me it's crazy to just think about how you go from 18 being in high school your parents are paying your bills and stuff then okay you graduate you're cool for the summer august comes around and it's just like a whiplash like if you're graduating in 2024 you need to get your sh together if you don't know what you want to do you need to do that today because like i'm saying like time really stops for no one no one's gonna wait for you if you just keep sitting around you're gonna sit around this summer of graduation then you're gonna sit around the next summer of graduation you're gonna be working a nine to five these summers and it's just like you can't keep doing that when you look you know next thing you know you're gonna be 30 years old still working a nine to five which no shame to the people that's 30 years old working a nine to five but i'm just saying for the people that want to own their own businesses this is for you because it's just like you have to start what you want to do today that's basically all i'm trying to say like time really does stop for no one life is just going to keep going you're going to keep getting older and older and older so don't care what people have to say don't care what people think about you and it's easier said than done like of course everyone is just going to automatically low-key care about what people think just on accident like that's just the human instinct i feel like um unless you're just really rich as heck and you really just don't care about nobody's opinion i don't know but i just feel like that's a thing that most humans do so it's just like easier said than done but that's something we all have to work on like don't care what people have to say like do the things you want to do and i preach that every day even if it's something small start today so topic number two um let's topic number two so less is more that i really put that on the list when it comes to like makeup i was talking or i was thinking about specifically makeup so let's just go back in time for a minute i started doing just my eyebrows freshman year of 
um was that high school yeah freshman year of high school i started doing my eyebrows right start doing concealer start doing foundation okay blah 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 we're in senior year of high school i'm doing full faces of makeup to school every day junior year i was doing full faces of makeup to school every day so junior year full faces of makeup senior year full faces of makeup okay now in my freshman year of college i start to not even want makeup no more like just starting freshman year of college i just started getting like or like the summer like last summer i just started getting comfortable with like wearing no makeup outside and like really getting into my skincare really healing my skin like i had a lot of dark spots here on my cheek that i literally could not get rid of and on both cheeks but it really was mainly this cheek and so i kind of just say all that to say like less is more now i do my skincare i moisturize really good i use a lot of moisturizer um you don't have to do that but that's just what i like to do personally i really don't use a lot i just make sure it's really nice and dewy for me because i like to do a really light makeup beat now which goes into the topic less is more like i just feel like even when it comes to lashes too like we all know the phases where we used to wear in edges like my edges used to be down here to my eyebrows bro and i used to hate when people used to tell me that i used to be like bro shut up like i like my edges even now i like my edges people will hit on my edges but i don't care i like my edges right now but freshman year in high school my edges would be like down here it would be straight and then it would be swooped I just feel like less is more like I was saying when it comes to lashes we all know the phase where everyone had the 25 mm's we all know we all have been there so like now that we've been having like clusters around we all starting to realize that looks ridiculous so it's like when you think about it less really is more when it comes to some things topic number three comparison is the thief of joy and i say this because we all know that social media is really where that comes from where that stems from like the root of the problem of comparison is literally social media that's the only time we get to see people flashing hell of money people flashing tons of cars their big houses i can go on and on and on but i say all that to say i just feel like with social media people just have to fast from that like honestly i feel like everyone needs a fast if you get on tiktok every day you need a fast if you scroll on instagram reels every day you need a fast you need to take a break from that stuff because that overstimulation of like dopamine constantly just seeing how you want your life to be just seeing that yeah it could be motivational but when it gets to the point where you're comparing yourself and you're like okay Compare yourself to a certain extent. Like, what can I be doing better in my life to get to where I want to be? Compare yourself in that way. But don't compare yourself to where it's like, like, okay, this person is a millionaire at 16. How come I'm not a millionaire at 16? Like, you could look at it that way, but don't look at it in a negative light. Don't look at it at a negative light. Like, I don't know i just feel like comparison can be good and bad now that i'm really sitting down thinking about it just don't compare yourself to where it's negative like you can compare yourself for inspiration and try to see like you know what could i improve on what's trendy right now that's kind of like what i mean by in a positive light but negatively don't just be looking at people like you know or hating or projecting just because you're not in that predicament it's just just don't compare yourself like when it comes to looks and everything, when it comes to career rise, when it comes to looks, when it comes to likes, this person getting this many likes and you getting this many, why can why am I not getting this many likes? You know, just don't. It doesn't matter. Like, that's that person. You're you. You know, find some things that you feel like may get you some more likes. But don't just sit there and compare yourself all day. Like, I just feel like that is really the thief of joy because you'll compare yourself to the point where now, like I said, now you're 40, now you're 30, and you're still sitting there like, what have I done with my life? I've just been looking at all these other people's lives. You're taking that into a positive light. You're looking at that for inspiration. You're looking at that for profit wise how you can market towards people stuff like that like what's trendy stuff like that like that's positive so 
yeah that's really all i wanted to say i i honestly just feel like that's the biggest topic that y'all should take away because i feel like everyone's on social media right now everyone's comparing their self and it might not even be consciously it may just be an accident but it's just something we all need to watch out for and kind of just avoid if it's not positive next topic be consistent and this is the last topic so be consistent i say this because even when it comes to youtube like i need to work on being more consistent but it's like things that you want to do in life if it's something that is going to get you rich, for example, it's not going to come easy. Nothing good is worth, like, coming easy. I don't know the proper saying, but basically, nothing that is enjoyable comes easy. Like, you're going to have to work to get what you want. You're going to have to put in some hard work, some dedication, some hustle, some grind, some something. You're not just going to get there. Keep praying. It's like, Jesus, can you bring me my hair salon one day and you're not doing nothing to get a hair salon? Like, how do that work? You got to put in that work. You got to be consistent. You got to stay on top of things daily, multiple times a day. And it's like, I did say start now. Like, yeah, you can start now. But being consistent is more important. It's harder than starting. Being consistent is way harder than starting. Coming up with my hair business name, coming up with finding a vendor, coming up with trying to find like a mentor to kind of show me her vendor and how I could do things and like pictures that I could use because we had the same vendor. Like all that was easier than staying consistent and trying to find new ways to market that's trendy, trying to stay consistent with inventory, trying to stay consistent with packaging, upgrading, shipping staying consistent with upgrade, upgrading my website all of that is way harder than starting y'all like trust me starting was the easier part so yeah start now but also remember you have to be consistent with everything you do in life when it comes to working out when it comes to eating healthy you have to remember okay what am i doing this for okay this is what i'm doing this for let me remember let me remember why i'm hustling why i'm doing this why i need to keep going and be consistent so that's honestly what all the rip like what does everyone tell you that has had a big come up they're like stay consistent you got to really stay on top of what you want to do because if you don't you don't want it bad enough like i'm sorry to break it to you and even me i'm gonna get vulnerable for a second me yeah i wanted to do i want to be a hairstylist like i'm going to be a hairstylist i'm in hair school right now I don't want to elaborate too much on my goals like I was saying in my last vlog because I just don't like to do that. But I know what I want to do in life. So me staying consistent is a huge part of that. Like I, that's something that I have to do every single day. So I just feel like if you are one of those people that want a business, um, want to own your own business or anything like that, that is just such a crucial part. Like... Some people will have businesses, they'll post it in like a month later, two months later, you don't even hear about the business no more. Like, that's just not, that's not okay, y'all. Like, stay consistent with whatever you start, finish that. Whatever you start, finish that. Like, I just feel that way. So, like I was saying, be consistent, y'all. Anything y'all want to do, start today. And I cannot preach that enough. Like, I've said it a thousand times. So, I mean, that's the end of it. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little advice video. This was super fun to be sharing, like, all the knowledge that I can really think about. That's the main important things that I feel like everyone should know. Especially if you want to be a business owner or you want to just improve your life because all these things i'm still working on but these are things that i just wanted to share with people so that they could start working on it earlier that's kind of why i'm naming it like things i wish i knew before 19 so that people before 19 or after 19 but specifically before 19 could like keep these things in mind like also the decisions you make from like the ages 10 to high school are really crucial like a lot of people just say like teenage years to high school but no 10 to high school but thank you guys so much for watching make sure you guys like comment, share subscribe stay tuned for more videos and i will see you guys in the next vlog bye loves